Welcome to part 7. I'm struggling to keep on top of making these videos. Hopefully other things will quieten down and allow me to progress this project. Last time we created a working prototype of our own DIY tines and tone bars. I'm really happy of how this has worked out. And now we can start to perfect this setup and learn how different notes and different configurations can be optimised, such as how long each tine and tone bar need to be and also work out what the strike line of each note will be. For every note there's a position where there's a pleasant noise that's created, depending on where the hammer hits the time. And this is called the strike line when referring to it uh, with Fender note Rhodes notation. So yeah, bassier notes tend to have a different position and the piano needs to be designed around this. So for this part, I'm gonna look at creating hammer tips as I've said previously, my goal is not to copy an electric piano that already exists and is reasonably easy to get hold of. I want to create something that's tailored to the sounds I like. So one mod that I really want to try on my Fender Rhodes piano is felt hammer tips. These have a much softer, darker sound and I just absolutely love them. But it's a lot of work. It changes the piano quite a bit. So I'm not going to do it to my Fender Rose piano, I'm going to do it to this project piano. One advantage of using felt hammer tips is they should create lower peak stresses in the tines, which will help increase the fatigue life. This could be really helpful considering we've created our own budget tines. But yes, let's create our own hammer tips. So back in FreeCAD, here we've got our hammer and our key set up. I've added the tine and tone bar from the previous video and I've created a shape that I'm going to attach to the end of the hammer. Perhaps I should have created this as a part of the hammer rather than something that we glue on but I like experimenting and don't mind if at the end of this we go let's let's, let's go back to rubber tips they seem to work better. So around this shape we're going to stick on some felt and that's how it works. Okay so let's print this. So there are some suppliers out there that create their own hammer tips and they create a lot of products and to be honest I think that they're all amazing. Many suppliers create different grades across the keyboard and if I was restoring an actual Fender Rose piano I would use a tried and tested supplier hammer tips. I personally think some suppliers get a lot of stick for the prices that they have and having tried to make my own parts I think their prices are are fairly reasonable. If there weren't, someone else would have been up to un undercut them by now. But yeah, when you buy from one of these vendors, to me, you buy in a well-researched product, you tend to get free help videos, support, forums, advice online, and also you've given them just enough profit so that there's a good chance in five years time or whenever you next need a part that this supplier will still be about. So yeah, I'm saying I totally love what they do, but for this project, we're trying to go real basic, real cheap, we're not aiming to have good quality, and that's why we're going to create our own. This does give us ultimate control though, and that's why I like it. So this is printed, it looks pretty good. I have some piano felt, that's 5mm thick, that I'm going to glue around this tip. So yeah, this one's glued for a while. It, it appears like it's going to work quite well. I'm quite happy with this. So yeah, we're going to put this on our test rig and give it a go. We'll give it a comparison. The, we could play around with how thick the felt is and the angle and the shape, but for now, this will do. Okay, so before. and our new tips. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm convinced we can create our own hammer tips now. Okay, so that's it for this installment. As I said, I've been very busy with other things going on and I apologize for that. I appreciate everyone that has liked and subscribed so far on this journey so far. 
it's absolutely amazing and I appreciate everyone that's got in contact offering help or other ideas um, it makes this project so much easier to do oh and be before I go I've got one question and this has been playing on my mind a bit what is your dream electric piano if you can own only one electric piano and it could be any one it could be your red top Wurlitzer a butterfly Wurlitzer a Fender Road student model sparkle top a Yamaha a Valenti I really would love to know what your dream piano is but yeah thank you that's it for now till next time